job, so I want you to all do me a favor. The thing to me is that you all tweet and let me know what you think of the film. At Marlon L. Wayne, and I'm going to tweet you guys' opinion of the movie. Because y'all are my fucking critics, and uh, that's all I give a fuck about. And I hope that uh, I'm not going to change lives with this shit, but I hope I can. <laughs> <laughs> Any questions? That's what I'm doing. Now give it up for Marlon Wayans, y'all. Yeah. I never wanted to see your ass so much in my life. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice little ass, right? Little stretch marks. Come on, don't be I'm jealous. Don't be jealous. <laughs> I was going to give him the full frontal, like. <laughs> it don't swing like that. I'm lying. I'm lying. Uh, man, listen, I, I just got to commend you, man. That's a, did you guys enjoy the movie? Yeah. yeah. Uh, it was a laugh, like, a time that every eight seconds there was a laugh. Every eight seconds? I felt like every eight seconds people would laugh. That's like contractions during giving birth and shit, man. <laughs> um, I, I, I wanted to give, like, first of all, there hasn't been a really funny R-rated movie in a long time. And mm -hmm. I see the scary movie bullshit they're about to put out, and I'm just like, y'all don't understand. You can make chicken, but nigga, we got the flavor. So, you know, I'm, I'm not tripping. You know, I look at Scary Movie 5, I look at, you know, Charlie Sheen, Lindsay Lohan, and Heather Lockley, and I just go, that shit look like an episode of a fucking celebrity rehab. <laughs> and so my, in this movie, I, I, I try to get everybody to get off. You know, I let everybody improvise, Cedric. You know, you get a bunch of funny niggas together, you gotta, you gotta let them go. Yeah, gotta let them go. But how did you, how did you guys get through the scenes without busting out laughing? That was the hardest part. I started thinking about death, you know. <laughs> Shit that would hurt, like anal rape while getting my dick slammed in a door. <laughs> Talking about my bills and shit. You know, shit that make you want to cry. Um, Obama not winning the election almost, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and that's how you do it. But, you know, it was kind of, with Cedric, we would, you know, we'd, we'd do it within the take. Like, after the take, like, yo, what you should do is this. Oh, that's funny. Nigga. And then, but with Nick Swartzen was the hardest dude. Because this nigga, he says something. <laughs> and he does this laugh, and you have to stop yourself because this is like this nigga's laugh, and I gotta laugh. So that was the hard part. Essence, man, Essence should win an award for being able to play opposite you. No, she rocked. You know, Essence did her thing, and what was hard about her is she just had a baby like four weeks before we filmed. So when we was dragging her around the house, there was like breast milk everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> like, clean up on aisle nine and shit. I tell you. Big too. I didn't want to say that. <laughs> Breast milk titty. I was in there going, damn, I wish I was a baby again. <laughs> they had the veins and shit in it. <laughs> I sound real creepy. Fucking all right, whatever. <laughs> uh, I've seen so many of your movies. You know I'm a big fan. Uh, where would you rank this for, for personal growth in terms of in all the movies that you've done? For personal growth? Yeah. Um, you know, uh, this is like... Uh, my Michael Jackson off the wall album. Like this is the first time I got to really do me without somebody going, nah, you don't, I got you going too far. Um, so I got to do the, thank you, the crazy shit that was in my head that my brothers would go, no nigga, you can't do that. No, you can't, she can't squirt, Marlon, she just can't squirt. Nigga, you really gonna get anal raped by a ghost? How you gonna do this? <laughs> It's just all the crazy shit that was in my head, and I got to I got to make the decision to, along with my producer partner Rick Alvarez and Mike Titus, who directed it with me. We did it as a committee, and it was kind of like you know I, I grew up, and hopefully it'll be successful. Like it'll be my off the wall. If not, then it's Jermaine Jackson. Let's get serious. <laughs> <laughs> did any of your brothers ask to be in the film, or did, did this was just one you just wanted? To no, all my brothers asked to be out the film. <laughs> You don't think I called and asked favors? Like, come on, Keen, come on, good nigga, up, man. Keen, they come, damn man. Yeah, I was a uh, homie, but we did more money, click. <laughs> and what's crazy is, well, I didn't really ask. I asked Damon, and Damon said, mm -mm. <laughs> that movie's too crazy for me. 
I said, nigga, you did fucking handyman. Are you serious? <laughs> and then Sean, like Sean was game to do it, but there was really nothing for Sean to do. Um, uh, because when me and Sean do a movie together, it's like, come on, nigga, that's your brother. You know, no matter what role, I was gonna have him play Ray Ray, but nigga, that ain't your cousin, nigga, that's your brother. So that was a hard one, but we're, we're gonna do something again. It's not like, you know, me and my brothers will always work together. It's not like New Edition and I'm Bobby Brown smoking crack. We actually are gonna get back together and do some more shit together. You're ridiculous. <laughs> you didn't know Bobby was smoking, that nigga Jordan. <laughs> you talked to Bobby, you're just not doing this, like, really, nigga? Uh, Avion Crockett, man. What, yeah. what can you say about him? Atheon, man. Atheon, like, I look at my cast, and I just go, it's a bunch of people that you love to see, and you you know you love, and it's good to see people that you know and love be funny. Atheon came in, they had one scene that was this big, and he just worked with it, and, you know, improvised, and nigga, got one, one, one paint leg in, one pant leg out, and he, he just had fun with it, man. And it said they all came in and just and just rocked it, and, you know, those, Atheon's a dude that I hired in a, a pilot, like, years ago, and then we put him in Dance Flick, and then he did his show. Atheon, like, one one day, that dude is gonna be that that dude, you know? He's gonna be that dude, so y'all keep looking out for him. You, you, you to me, you're, right now, you're, you're the funniest guy in the game, to me. Oh, uh, right no, You no, have to talk, we I, have to do I just wanna be one of them, I don't have to be, if there's a this Mount Rushmore of niggas right now, <laughs> just put me, like, right there and shit. I'm, I'm good, I don't wanna be the funniest, that's too much pressure. Great job, man. Give it Thank up you. for Marlon Wayne. Thank you. Yeah. We're going to open up the floor for you guys to ask him questions. Anybody want to ask him a question, raise your hand. We got you this. Yep. Videotaping my dick? <laughs> <laughs> Anybody want to ask him a question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anybody want to ask him a question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anybody want to ask him a question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anybody want to ask him a question? My mother's crazy for letting my father come in, though, I'll tell you that, my friend. <laughs> um, my parents are really funny. We grew up in a crazy house, but my parents are really great, funny people. My mom, my dad is really silly, and he's fucking annoying, and I think he annoyed the shit out of my mom, and when my mom gets mad, she curses you out. She's like Richard Pryor with titties, and we grew up watching that our whole childhood, and I think that's where we got our sense of humor from. It's cut, cutting edge and biting and you know, and it came from love. And, you know, we, 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 that's the one thing we had in that household was a lot of love and fun, so. Right. Yes, sister. Okay. Um, stand up and talk. Now. I just want to see if you got titties. Come on, stand up. <laughs> <laughs> you showed your ass a lot. Did you ever get porn? <laughs> 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 you got a camera? Come on, let's do this shit. Right? Um, would I do porn? I've done some home porn, but I don't know if I want to show it to people and shit. It's pretty good, too. I ain't going to front. You see me with them stuffed animals. He's like, damn, I want to be a stuffed puppy. <laughs> yes, uh, okay, well, you, and then after that, you. She um, all skipped in front. I said, you said, excuse me. Like, I, was, uh, I have yeah. to stand up tall because I'm small. Um, so, uh, kind of staying on the same theme. Have you ever had a, a haunted encounter in your life or ever experienced the supernatural? Nah, just roaches. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Marlon, um, you gotta stand up and talk loud. Like, oh, girl, sorry. <laughs> Will there be a haunted house sequel? If it makes money, yeah. Uh, if, it, if, it, if it's a success, definitely it'd be a haunted house sequel. You'll be, I'll make you motherfuckers regurgitate. Nigga, a hundred, a haunted house a thousand? Shit! <laughs> Um, I, I would do a sequel, but you don't want to do a sequel to a bomb. That, uh, uh, you've never seen Howard the Duck 2. <laughs> Can I get a hug? Huh? Can I have a hug? Huh? A hug, honey. You want a hug? Yes. Sure, after, like right now? <laughs> okay, but after the, after, uh, you gonna start the hug shit, huh? <laughs> uh, you can all put your titties on there. <laughs> No, nigga, you can't have a hug. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Um, are you going to do, like, any more, like, are you working on any more sitcoms or anything like that? Uh, right now, I'm writing a, uh, my, I, I got a show I'm producing for my nephew, Second Generation Wayne, as I make a couple of appearances. It's going to be on the VT January 15th. Right, you guys, make sure you tune in. And then I got one that I'm writing 
uh, for ABC that I'm producing and starring in. Um, hopefully it'll go. Um, it's, I don't, I, right now it's like called Bad Dad, and it's basically me as an inappropriate father, of which I am. <laughs> yes, baby. Yeah, I don't think Fox can manufacture that kind of money to bring us all back together. <laughs> J-Lo's ass alone is like two full million dollars. <laughs> yes, baby. Are you going to do stand-up anymore? I'm, I'm always on the road. I'm actually going to be playing the Borgata with uh, my brother Sean Wands and my boy right there, at Will Savence. Yo, stand up right there, funny ass, the Haitian comedian. So we're going to be up at the Borgata February 9th. You all come down. Um, I'm on the road constantly, like every other weekend. Uh, doing stand-up, because it's, it, if it wasn't for stand-up, I don't know if I could write jokes the way I'm writing jokes right now. My mind is working completely different. I'm actually growing more in the last two years than I've grown in the last 20, and stand-up is a beautiful journey, and it's the best thing I ever fucking did, ever. I'm never stopping. I used to want to play a great, now I want to be a great. Fuck this. Yes, you. Thank you. Uh, what made me decide to do this type of movie? Because Hollywood's not making a lot of movies right now. And when they stop making movies, the first people who really feel it are black actors. And the, unless you're like a superhero, and they ain't gonna have a black superhero, because our dick is way too big to be in the pants. <laughs> that nigga wouldn't even be able to fly. Look at it, they can't fly. Dick dragging on the ground. <laughs> so I decided out of necessity, like everything else I've ever done, it's out of necessity that I write. My brother told me, if you're gonna be in this industry, you can't just be a black actor. You gotta be a force of nature. So as kids, we learned to write, you know, don't be a menace. Me and Sean wrote that at 19 and 20 years old. Created our television show at 20, 21. Like, everything we've done, we had to write. So anybody that's in this industry, guys, if you guys are actors, you gotta do more. You gotta write, you gotta produce, you gotta direct, you gotta cater, you gotta do all that shit. 